red carpet with former orchid trainers. Is that accurate? Well, that's for correct. Tonight, uh, tonight's feature film called Blackfish. And tell me, um, anybody can speak to this, but what is the biggest challenge with getting a documentary like this to be produced? Is there any challenge? Question for Gabriella, really the director of the investment. Yeah, I, w I would say we're just, you know, we're going against a PR machine who thinks that SeaWorld is, you know, one of the happiest places to be. So to really, to, to make a documentary about what goes on behind the scenes at a place like SeaWorld is like making a documentary about, you know, what goes on behind the scenes at Disney. You know, it's kind of shocking for our culture to hear like, oh, it's not actually what we think. Yeah. And, and so to speak to that, you know, the director, Gabriella Comfortway, and tried repeatedly to uh, interview SeaWorld people, and they repeatedly declined. So, it gives you a glimpse into um, you know what's at stake for them, and uh, you know the the machine that's involved. Mm -hmm. From a technical standpoint, just collecting the footage for the film was very difficult. She needed to use the Freedom of Information Act, and if OSHA had not sued SeaWorld to create a public trial, then that footage would not have been available. So, from a technical standpoint, it was difficult, but also uh, just collecting this. The eclectic group of ex trainers is probably hard for her to do yeah. as well. Yeah. How yeah. did she find you? I mean, is there was she? How did she find you guys? Well, Tim Zimmerman wrote a piece for Outside Magazine featuring these two guys, John Jett and Jeffrey Venturi. Mm -hmm. And then Gabriella contacted Tim Zimmerman because she really loved the piece. It was called Killer in the Pool. Mm -hmm. It's definitely worth reading. It's fabulous. And then she wanted to do a documentary based on what he'd written. So that's where it started. Well, it sounds like a very moving film. What do you think you want people to come away with from this from this film? John, what do you think? Um, yeah, I think this is a, a very factual document of what's going on, and I hope that this begins the dialogue for what's next, because uh, for 2013, you know, these animals deserve better than what's happening, and I think it's just an evolution, and people are ready to embrace that. So. Well, congratulations on the movie. We're all looking forward to seeing it, so uh, good luck.